Let's sit and meditate for a few minutes. Anam Pavana Sapakna. Try to breathe in a way that feels refreshing. Ask yourself what would feel really good for the body right now, and see if the body responds. If it doesn't respond in any particular way, you can experiment for a bit. Learn how to develop an area of your awareness that may not be all that developed, and realize that you've got a lot to, that you can draw on here. You can create a sense of well-being at any time, in any place. And that's an important skill. And the Buddha teaches us to develop equanimity towards the unpleasant things in life. It's not like he's saying just go without any kind of nourishment at all. He wants you to find inner nourishment. One of the reasons we stay in a place like this where there are difficulties, like right now we're suffering from the heat, but you don't have to suffer. The heat is there, but you don't have to suffer from it. And one of the alternatives is to Instead of focusing on the heat, focus on your breath. Breath isn't a quality of temperature at all, it's a quality of energy. And just tune into that area of your awareness and make that as pleasant as possible. And you find that the heat is a lot more bearable. In other words, you've got all kinds of karmic potentials here in the present moment. The fact that you're here right now, when it's hot, okay, there's some past karma there. But the fact that you're here in a place where you have the opportunity to meditate and develop the mind. That's another karmic potential as well. So choose which ones are going to be most helpful and hang out there and learn how to develop the potentials that you've got. There are lots of good potentials with every moment. We tend to see them sometimes and not at other times, but they're always there, even when things are really negative outside, even when things are disturbed inside the body, in other words, where the elements in the body are all upset when there's an illness or something. But you can still hang on to the sense of awareness right here, if you develop that so it's steady and strong. And if you've got the breath on your side, so much the better. In other words, you always look for the good potentials at the present moment to make the most of them. They give you the strength so you can deal with the negative things that are coming up as well. It's not like the present moment is always a pleasant moment, but it does have its pleasant opportunities, its pleasant potentials. So try to ferret them out and develop them as best you can. <laughs>